Today in the news, we got what might be an ARC GPU leak, AMD is showing off, and the most anticipated game of 2022 pops up. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with Intel. So last week, they finally introduced their discrete graphics for laptops, specifically the Arc Alchemist family of GPUs. In it, we have the Arc 3 A350 and A370M, the Arc 5 A550M, and the Arc 7 series, which has the A730 and 770M. If you look at the specifications of the Arc 7 series, you can see two things. First, the graphics clock is pretty low. The A730 is listed with a 1100 MHz clock speed and the 770M with 1650 MHz. Now, we don't know if this is considered the base or the boost clock, but all in all, 1650 MHz, while low, isn't that out of the ordinary. Plus, there's a wide range on the TDP, meaning that it could be just the minimum clock speed for the graphics chip at the lower TDP. For ARC 7 in the TDP department, we see a range from 80 to 150 watts, depending on the model. But why am I bringing all of this up? Well, a couple of days ago, Intel released a video talking about Intel Arc Control. That's their software for their GPUs. And in that video, we saw the systems metrics panel that gives you information like clock speeds and such. And the GPU that was running at that point had a clock speed of 2250 megahertz and a TDP of 175 watts while at 99% utilization. Plus, the memory clock at 1094 megahertz suggests an effective clock speed of 7 17.5 gigabits per second. Basically, this could be the clock speeds we see for a discrete card. Maybe not the top of the line model, but the TDP is out of range of all of the mobile laptop chips. I mean, sure, it could be just a faked screen grab for the purposes of this presentation, but the video looks like it was made in front of the computer itself with the host giving the tour live. So what do you guys think? You think it's real? You think it's fake? Let me know what you think down below. Speaking of GPUs, AMD wanted to show off a little on Twitter. The Radeon Twitter account recently tweeted a photo which includes a comparison between the ARC 3A370M and AMD's 6500M. Now, this is marketing at its finest, but if it pans out to be accurate when reviews pop up, Intel is already in hot water when it comes to gaming. AMD shows the 6500M absolutely wiping the floor with the A370M, and that happens in Hitman 3. 3, Total War, F1 2021, Strange Brigade, and Final Fantasy XIV. At the medium settings used, the AMD GPU doesn't cross down the 80 FPS line, while the Intel system averages around the 65 FPS mark. Now, of course, there are two other factors to consider here, price and availability. AMD's GPUs, even in laptops, are extremely hard to find, especially for the 6500M. For Intel, we'll have to wait a little longer to see how it pans out. As for pricing, current rumors point at Intel having the advantage here, but it's hard enough to find any pricing information. Then let's move on to some events. In-person events have pretty much disappeared in the last two years. That's because, well, we all know why. A lot of people hope that uh, some of these tech or gaming events would reopen this year. Unfortunately, one of the biggest ones for gaming, E3, has officially announced that it will not happen. And no, I'm not just talking about an in-person event. E3 will just not happen whether in person or online. This is the second time since the start of E3 that this has been fully cancelled. The last time was obviously in 2020, but at least back then they offered to help other digital events. This time it's just cancelled. Thankfully, all their efforts are going towards next year's E3 where there should be an in-person event. And lastly, we got one of the most anticipated games of 2022. And guess what? We're playing it together right now. It's called Pixel Pat, and you essentially embody Pat Gelsinger, Intel's CEO, in a immersive tour of one of their fabs. Now, this game isn't entirely real life accurate. I mean, usually in fabs, you wanna make sure that everything is super clean. It's a big giant clean room. You don't want any dust or bacteria contaminating the wafers. So I question Intel's quality 
control here. I mean, the fact that Pat Gelsinger himself is going in with absolutely no protection, instead you have to get the protection as a power up once you're inside the fab already, plus there's bacteria or monsters and dust floating around inside the fab, that's a no-no for sure. Also, there's silicon wafers that are just there, unsupervised, just hanging on what looks like conveyor belts. And to top it all off, it looks like Intel's fabs have giant holes in the floor that you can fall through and lose a life. That's unsafe. This isn't regulation. Also, what type of sound is Pat making when he jumps? Is that his shoes or does he gulp like that in real life? All right. In all seriousness, I missed April Fools, I'm sorry, but I just wanted to have some fun here. It's a real game though, so go check it out if you want to. Anyways guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you wanna talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here or right here to subscribe to the channel or to uh, watch one of our latest videos. Don't forget to stay frosty and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. I mean, I tried, but I can't really. I mean, the love was sink, but the drop heavy. It would last forever, January.